Hello everyone, welcome back to The Walking Dead. I still haven't really recovered from what happened. Honestly... What's up? I don't even know what to think. Oh You're stuck feeling alright? Yeah, what's wrong with... Oh, no. What the fuck? Oh, what happened no. during the raid? Are you kidding me right now? What's the plan? You're You've never had a bite me. victim in a group before. Come I'm going to keep on, an eye Doug. on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. First it's Carly, and now it's Duck. Come on. <laughs> I know it's a whole episode between you guys, but literally it was just, I went and got a drink. I stood here for like one minute and I started the next episode and boom, Duck's dead. Seriously, ah, oh, sorry, Clementine. Oh. Now we're down to what? Five people? That's it? Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? shot in the head that's right it's horrible yeah it is <laughs> that's nice. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't, though. Thanks. Oh, man. This is... This is just depressing. <laughs> Got this kid I don't even care about. Got Kenny and Katja, who's... Not really on my side. Fuck! What happened? Holy shit! Obviously, this is a dream. <laughs> Knew that was a dream from a mile away. We got something up ahead. She wasn't bit or anything. But, man. We gotta run into a bunch more people. We gotta start rebuilding our group here. I mean, there's just like four or five people. We're not gonna blocked. live for that long. We need a group. Now we gotta deal with this. Yep. How are we gonna move a train? A train that's been derailed. There's no way to move that. There's no way. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Really, this this area, right here? <laughs> I don't Why think don't you so. and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. <laughs> Stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something. I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That didn't cross my mind. <laughs> yeah, there could be a zombie easily, especially if the train crashed. I don't know. Oh, let's go find something for Duck. Gotta make his last few moments as enjoyable as possible. God, man. 
Somebody's been living here. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Why is everybody just Shh. copying Think they're gone? exactly what I I'm hope saying? So. But this looks recently used. It's Feel like the, the third time. Guard up. They could already be gone. Oh, water. Definitely I'll take this that. to Kendra for Duck. Alright, anything else in here? There's a map. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, so make it Savannah. Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. So we're actually headed towards Savannah, which is good. Because that's where Clementine's parents are. I mean, there's no way of telling if they're alive. They're probably dead. But uh, there's a slight chance they could be alive. Shit. We might have a walker we on our hands. One. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. What's the chance? That our group and Rick's group both call them walkers. It's already dead. <laughs> Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. Got anything on you, Mr. Zombie? I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? <laughs> Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's a miracle. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the I hell mean, do we that get it moving? Engine doesn't really I work, I think. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. <laughs> we found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Yeah, if we could figure out how to get it started, I mean. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? No idea, but we'll it's a find train. out. That's the spirit. If you've never Man, done if it, you it's keep probably an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Glad you're happy, Kenny. I mean, your son's gonna die. But at least you got your moment of happiness. I got you some water. Here. Found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Is there anything inside the RV that I could use? I... I don't know. Pencil? I could take a pencil. Don't know what I need a pencil for. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Hey, Kenny, I got that pencil you ordered. Yeah, you want it? Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. Huh. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Inter ah. Ah, there we go. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't... Do I press six? Down, down, space, space. Oh. Why would I press it right now? Why would I... I don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's do this. That way. Okay. And now, 
that way. Boom! There we go! And just like that, we know oh, how to run shit. a train. We're golden! I'm not gonna yeah, bring up are. Duck golden. because, you know. <laughs> Feels good. Don't want this let's moment to be ruined for Kenny. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Alright, let's go ahead and use the throttle. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. Come on, Ward. There we go. There. Alright. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. We're ready to go to Terminus. No, 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 no. Savannah! Yes, Savannah. You touch any of my stuff? Oh, great. I took your water in your map, sir. I took the map of the trade routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. Good, good. I also I took your water. No worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants <laughs> off. You. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Yeah, you don't seem like a bad guy. Let's add him to our group. We need to we need to start adding people as fast as possible. Especially if it's just one person. Met Chuck. Really easy, yeah, easy to trust, I think, rather than a smaller it's so nice group. To meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Really, Ben? Really? <laughs> oh, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. <laughs> and I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Yeah, Kenny, we need uh, numbers. If we're going to take on those saviors later on. Duck. I don't know. Come on, Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back I'd, there? I'd like to think he has a chance, but there's like no that? way he has a chance. Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was. Uh, there was supposed fun. to be something yeah. there, man. Anyway, let me know if <laughs> there anything There was supposed changes. to be something, I thought. <laughs> That's the world I we live in. And watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. 
We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find <laughs> anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Oh, Duck. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. It's talked through. I'll be up front. I have no problem with that, I want to hear that, any nonsense Kenny. until we get where we're going. No problem with that. We're not going to leave a kid behind to die. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Go. To Savannah! Can't believe we're actually gonna make it to Savannah? I mean, we've made so much progress, and this is only episode three out of five. I was assuming, like, later seasons, like, like seasons two, season three, is when we're actually gonna be nearing Savannah, getting there, and all that junk. It seems like we're gonna do a whole complete story here. All in season one, I'm very surprised. I'm glad it's working out and not dragging it along. A little bit like walking it, a little bit. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Not really, no. No. Ah, Levin got him. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Can you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Get what off his face, this? Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? The blood? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Well, when he turns into a zombie, you can just like toss him out. I mean, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Hey, uh, Kenny. Got a situation. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. you what sure are you shit talking about, Kenny? Kenny, what are you talking about? How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny, what are you talking about? Man? Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Duck doesn't need you! Well, this is not good. Kenny! Kenny, my man! Why are you I fighting told me? Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gone. You don't even <laughs> have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! Oh, uh, you wanna calm down there? Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! 
I thought we did get all of them. Where is all this coming from? You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. I'm just in shock. Like, what, Kenny? Come on, man. You think I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Just get it through your head, man. Good. Good. Hopefully you have some sense in your head. God, I've like tried to be on his side almost the whole time. Just because I lied to him that I killed somebody. Because I kind of forced him to kill Larry a long time ago. What's the deal, man? Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, huh. I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. <laughs> no. It should be apparent. No parents would have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and. Oh, just I'm let gonna that do be it. it. I don't know. Oh, I didn't I mean, want to. I thought you were gonna kind of change your mind there. Oh. Why don't we oh. take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. No way, you I, I didn't want to kill anybody since I killed that one lady. And now I gotta kill Duck? Really? Come on. What's happening? <laughs> Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? Um, I'm killing him. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? Oh, no! what? Ben. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What is going on here? What? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! No! <laughs> no! You 
said you could do no. it, Ken. God damn it. You said you could do it. Oh my god. I. I. Kenny, I'm sorry, man. How, why? What? What's going on? I've got like three major deaths within like 30 minutes, man. What? Man, Kenny. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. You've done too much, Kenny. You've done too much. I gotta do it for you, man. I have to do it for him. There's like no other option. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> Why? This is the worst. next to Carol killing that little girl, man. It's like, oh. Why? Oh my god. I, this is like unbelievable right now. Chuck said that. I'm gonna hey. push you right off you this doing? train right now, man. I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? <sighs> we do what's, we best, do what's for best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. <laughs> Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. <laughs> She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. 
You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. I mean, we only have, what, one, two, three, four, five people left? Thor and Clementine. That's it. That's barely anything. I don't know what's going on, man. We're going to get to Savannah. We better run into a group of people, and they better be friendly. So we can grow this group, and hopefully live and maybe find Clementine's parents. I don't know. We'll continue in the next episode, everyone. I am done playing today. Too many people have died. No more. I'm going to sleep. Thanks for watching. Links for out. Okay, Bork. Bork the Bull Valley. Oh God, what the heck? I don't know how to do this. This is my first time so deep, man.